श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवो मे सन्नीधत्ता सदा हृदय ज्ञानंदमय देव निर्मल स्फटिकाकृति आधार सर्वद्याग्रीव वास्महे वंदे लक्ष्मी हयग्रीव पुरो मे मार्गदर्शक येनापक्वतिर्नून किंचिदूता संस्कृता अस्मदुरपरंपराये नम नमस्कार स्टॉल ऑफ यू टुडे वी गोट सी द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेकेंड वर्स ऑफ श्री न्यास दशक कंपोस्ट बै श्री वेदांत दीशिक न्यास मीन भरन्यास द आक्ट ऑफ सरेंडरिंग कॉल्ड एस प्रपत्ति This prapatti or bharanyasa or sharanagati, it is accepted as a means to attain liberation or moksha, which is to attain or to reach Sri Vaikuntha, Aparakrita Divya Desha. It is a place that is beyond all the material existence, where we get an opportunity to serve the Divya Dampati and there the devotees basically the nitya suris and the mukta atmas those who have been there those who are there in shri vaikuntha along with the divya dampatis so we get to serve them all so that is the state of liberation upon getting liberated the jivatma he gets the opportunity to please his master who is the paramatma Shriman Narayana by rendering blemishless kainkarya. Why do we say blemishless kainkarya? Because here in this world also, by being in this world also, we can render kainkaryam with this material body that we have been given. But because we are under the effect of our own karma. Karma is the result of our past actions we are not free from the three gunas namely satta rajas and tamas and also from our sins <coughs> the papa that we have committed those they they exert pressure on us to commit sins or to commit errors thus our actions are full of blemishes over here but in shri vaikuntha after getting liberated we get rid of all the karma and the gunas therefore the kainkarya that we get to get to render over there become blemishless now in the first verse swami deshika he explained what should be the the bhavana the mental mode of a mumukshu who performs the upaya called as sharanagati through his acharya he should very strongly think establish this thought process in his mind that he the responsibility to protect him and the fruits thereof as a result of his protection do not belong to him but only to the paramatma who is identified as shripati shriman narayana now we said there are five angas to prapatti the process of prapatti is called as angi sharanagati which has five angas angas means the steps or ancillaries auxiliaries which form part form part and parcel of the the angi which is prapatti in the second verse very beautifully he says nyasyam yakinchana shriman anukulonya varjitah vishwasa prarthana purvam atma raksha bharam tvayi nyasyam yakinchana shriman anukulonya varjitah vishwasa prarthana purvam atma raksha bharam tvayi if we 
split the sandhi that is a union of words then the verse would read like this yasyami akinchanah shriman anukulah anya varjitah vishwasa prarthana purvam atmaraksha bharam tvai before we go into the meaning of the verse let us look at the five angas first and then relate them to the verse the five angas are considered to be one anukulyasya sankalpa if one were to give a very short reply to the question why are we here what is the reason we exist in this material world why are we here then the answer from the vishishta advaita sampradaya would be because of bhagavan nigraha or the nigraha of bhagavan the so to say the anger of bhagavan what has made him angry because of our own actions so that is why we perform prapatti to please him now this anger should be taken should not be taken in the uh, in the very ordinary sense he is so big and we are so small that we won't be even able to bear the thought that he is angry upon us so what exactly being angry means being angry means being indifferent being indifferent when parents they get fed up with children trying to correct them every time but they don't see any change in the children then one day it does occur to them that okay you do what you want to i am not going to interfere you will experience the results of your own actions and some day you will change let me wait for that day that's it so being indifferent not interfering in the process when a person does a bad action there is no interference at all why because the person is not willing to listen his agnana is such that he thinks he is independent and he proceeds to do whatever he thinks he wishes that is why the grace of an acharya should fall on that person to realize that he is not what he thinks he is not independent he is completely dependent for his very existence on paramatma leave alone his actions then what he should do then he should learn more about atma gnana about himself very clearly what is the sambandha between him and paramatma and so on and now how do I, how do i get out of this to to take up prapatti so what is the first step anukulyasya sankalpaha so far so long i have been i have been not following the shastras the command of parmatma for my own but betterment the shastras they exist only for my own betterment our own betterment says bhagavad ramanuja mata pit sahasrebhya the shastras are more benevolent and good compared to a thousand parents why does we why does he say like this is not the mother the most uh, caretaker in this world the greatest caretaker in this world yes and no why because a mother is also possessed of the three gunas satvarajas tama a father is also possessed of ignorance ajnana so out of this ajnana out of the influence of gunas out of their own karma they may not end up doing what is good for their children this we see in the world too but shastras are they don't have emotions they clearly they very clearly state that if you want to rise up you have to do this that's it so now we take a pledge before paramatma that i will always do what is favorable to you that which pleases you what will please the paramatma the rules once we adhere to the rules he is pleased automatically so that's one you simply take a pledge you don't even start 
executing it, executing the pledge. But we say on the day of Prapati that Anukul is a sankalpa. I take up the sankalpa to be favorable to you. That is, I will try my best to follow the Shastras. Second, Pratikulyasya Varjanam. It might be that there are many people who follow the Shastras. At the same time, they do something which is not allowed by the Shastras. They are both good and bad. No, the Prapanna should not be like this. So he has to take another Sankalpa. Pratikulyasya Varjanam. I will never ever do what displeases you. First is, I take a pledge to do what pleases you. Second is, I will refrain from those actions that will displease you. Third is, Karpanyam. Karpanyam means the realization that we don't have the ability to take up any other upaya but to depend on Paramatma alone. Our ahankara becomes the, the least, so to say. So it is a realization and to be in that realization that we cannot afford, we cannot take up any other upaya but depend on the Bhagavan to, to redeem us. So that is Karpanya. The fourth is Mahavishwasa. Absolute faith absolute belief that the Paramatma will protect me, will protect us. And the fifth one is Goptritva Varanam. We have to go and seek. You please protect me. Tvamme Gopayita Bhava. Here I have come through the Acharya to seek Moksha from you. You have to protect me. You have to give me moksha. Protection means giving moksha. That's it. There is no destruction of the jivatma and destruction of prakriti. They both will exist in some form or other. Protection means giving liberation, granting the highest good. That is moksha or liberation. So that's the real protection. Now with this we will go to the go through the verse now. Nyasyami. Nyasyami is a verb here. Nyasyami means I place. I place. What do you place? Atma Raksha Bharam. Bhara means the responsibility or the burden. Of what? Raksha. Of protection. Of whose? Atma. So I place the burden which is actually not there. It's only ignorance that we think we exist for ourselves and we need to protect ourselves. Actually, it's not. So, it's a realization. So, now we let go the thought. How do we let go? By placing that burden back on Paramatma. I place that burden or responsibility to protect myself. Thwayi in you. How do I do it? Akinchanaha san. Sun is a, a word or a form of a, uh, let us say a word which indicates by being so by being so being what akinchana ha akinchana san nyasyami now i don't have the ability to resort to any other upaja any other means than resorting to you through this prapati so that i'm very sure i have made up my mind that i am such a person who does not have the eligibility or ability to take up any other upaya to get moksha. Shriman, Shriman is addressing, O oh Paramatma, Shri Pati, Shriman Narayana. Here, the subtle aspect of our Sampradaya is that Narayana is always with Shri. Shri is always with Narayana, Anapayini. One who does not leave Nityana Payani, one who does not leave the Paramatma for whatsoever reason. So together they become the Upaya, together they become the Upeya, that is our object of service in Sri Vaikuntha. So Sriman here means along with Pirati. Why? Because 
ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪಿರಾಟಿ ಆರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶಿ ಡಸ್ ದ ರೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪುರುಷಕಾರ ಪುರುಷಕಾರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ನಡ್ಜಿಂಗ್ ಎಂಬ್ರಮಾಂಟ್ ಸೋ ಟು ಸೇ ಟೆಲಿಂಗ್ ಎಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೆಲೋ ಆಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಸನ್ ಅವರ್ ಡಾಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಯು ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಐ ನೋ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಡನ್ ಸಮ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಹೂ ಹಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡನ್ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ಮೋರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಎನಿ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಇಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಂಟಿ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ನೌ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಮಹಾಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದನ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಟ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಟು ದಟ್ ಮುಕ್ಷು ಆರ್ ದಟ್ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ದರ್ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಥ್ರೂ ಶ್ರೀ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಆನುಕೂಲ್ಯಸ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪ ಹೇ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಹೇ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ನೌ ಆನ್ ಐ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಅಡ್ಹಿಯರ್ ಟು ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದೋಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯು ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯು ನಾವು ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸೈಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಸೂಮ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಸಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಕೂಲ್ಯಸ್ ವರ್ಜನ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಅ ರೆಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಾಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಒನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅನ್ಯ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಎಂಫಸಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಯು ಅನ್ಯ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅದರ್ ದ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂ ರಾಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಪೂರ್ವ ಪೂರ್ವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿತ್ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಮೆಂಡಸ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಮಹಾವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಮೀಸಿ ಮಹಾವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ರೆಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಪುಟ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರೆಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ನೋ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಿಯಲೈಸ್ ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಸರ್ವಜ್ಞ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಐ ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿ ನಾಟ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಆನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯೂನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ವೆರಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ಜೀವಾತ್ಮ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಸೀಕ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಪೂರ್ವ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಹಾವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ತ್ವಯಿ ಆತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಾ ಭರಂ ನ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಅನ್ಯ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಅಕಿಂಚನ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನಾ ಪೂರ್ವ ಆತ್ಮರಕ್ಷಾ ಭರಂ ತ್ವಯಿ ನ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಮಿ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಹಂ ಇಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಹಂ ತ್ವಂ ಇನ್ ವೈಲ್ ವೈಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ವರ್ಬ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಲ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಅಹಂ ಆರ್ ತ್ವಂ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಸ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಹಂ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅಹಂ ನೀ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ಡ್ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಎಫ್ ಪಥೆ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಸನ್ ಬೈ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಫೇವರೆಬಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಅನ್ಯ ವರ್ಜಿತ ಸನ್ ಬೈ ಅವಾಯ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅನ್ಫೇವರೆಬಲ್ ಟು ಯು ಅಕಿಂಚನ ಬೈ ಬೀ
recording the third verse, meaning of the third verse. Srimate Nigamanta Mahadeshikaya Namaha.